People of Earth, attention! This is the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated R and is recommended restricted for anyone under the age of 17. Come on, get yourself together here. Turvey? That's me. Is everybody all right? No, but if by all right you meant alive, then I guess yes. Uh, Nero! Ah! Rain it in, sunshine. You've got a pretty big goose egg on the side of your head. It's probably a light concussion. Uh, here, take a pull on this. It's a restorative potion. Uh, thanks. There you go. That's a restorative potion? Well, I like to mix mine with scotch. Had the desired effect, though, woke you right up. You must give me the recipe for that, Turvey. It was most refreshing. Could I have some over here, please? You sure you're okay to swallow? Your throat's all bruised. I'll manage it. Here you go. <coughs> oh, that is good. Nero, where's Luxorn Keys? I don't know. They must have headed for the fossil room. Okay. That's not so bad. With the passage to the fossil room collapsed, that might buy us some time. Not anymore, it won't. Take a look. I... How did it get open again? It's been like that since we woke up. And if you look closely, you'll notice that the effects of the collapse are reversing, as if it's being rewound. Time. The angel was temporally related. It's reversing time locally for its own purposes. Hanover, I'm not sure we can stop something this powerful. It's the key. The key is doing this. That's why it's able to manifest powers like that. That's how come Luxor was able to move so fast. We might have a chance to stop him if he hasn't figured out how to use the key yet. That's an awfully big if. Who knows how long we've been unconscious for? I think if he had figured out how to use it, we probably wouldn't be here right now, would we? Whatever it is we're going to do, I suggest we hurry. Look up through the skylight. What? Oh. Oh, boy. Is that? I'm terribly sorry, my dear, but it is. It's a mountain. And it's materializing. Got enough in that flask to go around one more time? Oh, hell yeah. Well, pour it up. We got a long day ahead of us. Technical Difficulties presents The Account, A Tale of the Waking World, The Snows Are Eternal, Part 17. Keys, will you please stop that? What? All the twitching and glancing around and looking over your shoulders starting to make me nervous. How can you possibly be calm right now? What? We're just walking down a hallway. That's collapsing backwards, yes, but just put that part out of your mind and it's pretty normal. And by the way, that look you keep giving me, that's not appreciated either. I that, that, that one right there. I wish I had a mirror to show you what you look like. Pardon me for feeling as if I'm at a slight disadvantage right now. What, are you talking about my little trick back there? Don't tell me you're developing an inferiority complex already. We've only barely gotten started. How did you do that, Luxor? Don't know. Just sort of came to me. It's this thing, obviously. Just one of the perks of the job, I guess. And was this the power you were promised then? Aw, oh, keys. Are you feeling the dead weight building up around you? What happens as you get older, you know? And then the next thing you know, you start feeling, I don't know, obsolete. Now, what am I supposed to think then? (sighs) And the answer to your question is no. Or at least it better not be. I'm expecting to get a hell of a lot more out of this deal than just a couple of party tricks. Well, if that wasn't it, then what are we expecting then? What do you mean? I mean, what did you ask for in return for our services? Mmm, don't know. I wasn't too specific. I wanted to be surprised. Now I really wish I had a mirror so I could show you what you looked like. (laughs) You really have no idea what you've gotten us into, do you? Not a blessed clue. Just the way I like it. And for the record, Keys, you didn't have to follow me. You never had to follow. You could have turned tail and run from this organization any time you wanted to. I might have lost all my respect for you. I might have hunted you down and killed you later, but you never...
never had to follow me. So I suggest you stow away any regrets you might have. Because like I said before, don't you dare go soft on me. It's way too late for that. Besides, I'm going to need you now more than ever before. Why do you need me when you have all this power? Because, Keys, when I give this back to our client, all that power is going with it. What? Yep, afraid so. Completely temporary transfer, I'm afraid. Well, then let's just get out of here with it. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to work that way. I can tell just by holding it. If uh, I don't deliver this, he's going to come looking for us. And uh, Well, you know how I feel about it when people walk out on me? It'd be like that, only a lot worse. Oh. I think we're here. Hello? Special delivery for a Mr. and or Mrs. Raquiel? Come forth. Keys, why don't you let me do the talking? I wouldn't have it any other way. <clears throat> Raquiel. I can call you that, right? I believe I have your merchandise right here. Deliver it unto me. Of course, absolutely. But I'd like to discuss the matter of payment first. You wish power. Yes, that is definitely a start. Power, power, top of my list. So, what say we discuss exactly what kind of power that would entail? Deliver unto me yeah. what is mine. And uh, what part of this negotiation is throwing you? Just out of curiosity. This is the merchandise you asked for. Payment on delivery. I'm here. I have delivered. And how shall I pay you behind these walls? I get it. Classic impasse. You can't give me what I want until I set you free, and I'm not going to set you free until you give me what I want. Open this gate. Free me from this prison. Return what is mine. We're really not getting anywhere with this, are we? I am not anywhere. You are not here. Open the gates. Uh, you know, I really tried to tell you before that the whole cryptic thing isn't helping our situation here. Thank you. That would be very helpful. Oh, okay. Oh, I get this now. See, if you'd just been a bit clearer from the start, we could have made a lot more progress. Now, I'll need a keyhole if you don't mind. Of course. Much obliged. What's it doing? It's making a keyhole, naturally. Try to keep up with things, would you please? You're going to open the gate! You're going to let it out? Um, yeah. I believe that's why we went to all this trouble, right? Although, a more accurate answer to your question would be yes and no. Yes! I'm going to open the gate. The gate to the prison. Eastling. This whole city is its prison, but... It's not its cell. Oh. <laughs> Open the gates. Of course. You must hurry. Oh, be patient. The champion approaches. What are you talking about? Luxor. The hallway. It's Phillips. He's coming. Well, do something to stop him, then. I can't. He's coming too fast. Come on. Come on. Hurry. We're almost there. Whenever I can see them, they're standing right at the fossil room wall. We're never gonna make it in time. Why aren't they moving? Why are they just standing there? It's time. The city's doing this. What? Just keep running and we still have a chance. He's just looking right at us. Don't stop! Just plow right into it! You got it! Too fast! You know, trying to get rid of you guys is like trying to get rid of a bad rat. Luxor! Don't! Nero! Sorry. Too late. <laughs> Oh no. God damn you, Luxor! I wouldn't get too close if I were you. I think things are about to get a little unpredictable. Yeah, well, I wouldn't stand too close to that wall if I were you. <laughs> I couldn't let go of this key now even if I wanted to. Things are in motion, I'm afraid. 
And you see, since I've gotten hold of this, it's been showing me things. Things about the past. Things about the future. And I think what you're referring to is how one time you saw a mouth come out of this wall. <laughs> but you know what? If you think about it, that's wrong. It was far too far away. That, no, that, that was just a tongue. <laughs> right now, this whole cave is its mouth. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> Luxo, what did you do? Head up, head up in the roof. Everyone get down. <laughs> Is everybody all right? I think I am. I appear to be whole. I'll get back to you on that one as soon as we figure out where the hell we are. Uh, in a castle tower, it looks like. Yes. It all seems as though I've seen it somewhere before. Don't all ruined castles look the same on the inside? Well, to the untrained eye, perhaps, but an aficionado such as myself should be able to pick out detail. What? What is it? This can't be right. Please don't let this be right. Clarice, what's wrong? I know what's wrong. And it's the worst thing you could ask for. Look out the window. Oh, dear God. It's Eastling. It's completely destroyed. I've been listening to The Account, A Tale of the Waking World, written and performed by Kyan Chris Conroy as part of the Technical Difficulties podcast series. To contact this show, techdiff at gmail.com. To make a comment on this episode, go to techdiff.com. Follow us at Twitter at twitter.com slash techdiff. Look for Technical Difficulties at Facebook. The discussion board is techdiff.freeforums.org. To be continued next week on The Account, A Tale of the Waking World. And it's December, and it's snowing here in Minneapolis, because it's really cold. Winter came really early to this neck of the woods. Uh, But since it is December, December 3rd, I believe, that I'm recording this? You may be wondering about that Advent calendar business for 2010. Before I do that, uh, I'd like to say this was a short episode. I just thought chapter-wise it worked better if I did it at this particular length. And also, um, the reason I haven't... uh, This episode was a little bit shorter than usual, and I hope to finish up this story of the account in the next two episodes, three at the most. I'm in the home stretch as it stands here. Um, I have been working on the 12 Days of Christmas. Yes, instead of doing the Advent calendar, I'll be doing the 12 Days of Christmas. And that will start on the 14th of December. 12 days leading up to Christmas Day, and I hope to get a bunch of those in the can while I finish off the account at the same time. It's going to be busy for me, recording-wise. Um, that's all I really have to report. I'd like to thank everybody who sent nice emails to me, etc., etc., and, um, like that, I've, I've got nothing else to add to that, I'm afraid, other than I'm just very busy finishing this up, and, uh, we're gonna have the, uh, the Tech Diff 12 Days of Christmas starting on the 14th of December, as I said. So, until next time, I will be back with another episode of The Account, and look star- for starting on the 14th, the 12 Days of Christmas from Technical Difficulties. That's that. That's all I got to say. Talk to you guys later. Bye! No one knows where he comes from. Some say he's not a man. Some say he's a force. Not of nature, but of something more primal than that. He's the acid taste of vengeance you can't quite swallow down in a town that's besieged by fear. An unbreathed regret. Others say he was a man who wouldn't rest until all the pain in the world was fed back to those who mined it out of others. 
is only known by one name. From county to county, in the hours past dawn, and in the haze-filled air, you'll see him walking towards you if you keep secrets, if you harm folks. He's the drifter, and he won't stop till sorrow's end. A weird western series from Jeffrey Billard starring The Drifter. From Audio Groovecats and the Amigo Collective. Coming 2023 only on Mutual with Episode 1, Before a Wind. <laughs>